Hi, I'm Debbie Parkin with DebsJewelryShop.com and Debs Dazzling Divas. With the popularity of Facebook parties, I get a lot of questions about how do I ship orders, how do I package them so they get to the recipient nicely and not tangled up. So I'm here to answer all those questions and give you a few tips and hints of what I do. Um, I ship from home personally and so what you need to do um, to be able to do that is you need to have a scale, um, shipping supplies, and a ship program on your computer. Um, you can use USPS.com or I use ShipStation and that will help you ship from home. So let me show you how I package the orders. Um, I'm going to go through everything that the person ordered. So here we go. Um, first of all, um, when, I, when someone orders rings, I don't want them to get lost in the packaging and so I buy these cute little ring baggies just at any hobby or craft store and I put the ring in there and it gives it um, makes it a little bit bigger so it you won't throw it out in the garbage so that's how I package the rings um, headbands and hair clips are fine um, just by themselves they're pretty sturdy they won't get ruined in the transportation. Earrings, I use some other bigger baggies and I just put them, slip them in the baggie and you can fit more than one pair of earrings in there. Or if you don't want to invest in the baggie, I get some hot pink pretty stylish uh, tissue paper and I just wrap up the earrings that way. So they're nice and protected like that. Um, bracelets are the same way. You can put them in a baggie also. You can fit more than one if you want in there. Or um, if they don't fit in a baggie, you can also just tissue paper those up as well. Like how fun. Um, necklaces, I keep, I try to keep them in the plastic sleeve so they're easier and faster to ship. So when I ship them, I just simply fold them in thirds like that um, for the larger necklaces. Um, if you don't have the plastic sleeves, you can again buy some at the Craft and Hobby store. There, here's a long sleeve one, and then here's. A short one for um, the shorter necklaces. This is just a pretzel baggie. If you make chocolate covered pretzels, they go in these. But I'm like, huh, those can fit short necklaces. So you truly have a paparazzi brain if you think everything in jewelry. So again, if you don't want to do the baggies, you can get your trusty nifty tissue paper and fold it up like that. You just don't want the necklaces getting tangled up with each other. So everything's prepped and ready for shipping. So the way that I put everything into the shipping box is I get the cute stylish pink paparazzi bag. Um, I open up the bag. <laughs> I put the hair accessories in first. And, and then I put the necklaces, but it really doesn't matter the order. Just don't, you don't want to crush anything. And I just fill up the bag. And then I put in a business card. A little paper saying, hey, join paparazzi and you'll be awesome. And then I also include a receipt. So you stuff all that in there. Now you're ready to decide which shipping method to use. This is where your scale comes in handy. So what you want to do is put the order on the scale and if it is 13 ounces or below, you're going to want to ship first class mail and either a <laughs> padded envelope or a brown box. So I have a brown box right here. 
And what I do is I take some more tissue paper, pink of course, and I stuff it in there. And then I put the order in there. And then I stuff more tissue paper in there. You can never go wrong with too much tissue paper. It's fun, and the person opening it just is like, ah, this is exciting. Um, and so, and then you just seal it up, and you tape it, tape it all around, and then you wait again. You want to make sure it's under the 13 ounces, the 13 ounces or below. If it is, then go ahead and um, create your label and stick it on there. Now, if it's a smaller order, you um, maybe like a ring or a bracelet, you can use these padded envelopes. Um, the way I do that is I still put the items in the bag, put everything else in the bag, um, and then just put them on in there. And then weigh it and so on. Now, if your order is 14 ounces or higher, that's awesome because they bought lots of fun stuff. And what you'll want to do is you will want to ship in a flat rate padded envelope. Now I know, Deb, you just said, you know, don't ship in an envelope if you have a bigger order. Well, let me tell you this little secret. In an envelope, it can be flimsy, so that's why I suggest doing everything in a brown box. Um, but if it's cheaper to ship it this way, then ship it this way. But let me tell you a little secret. I use one of these free priority mail um, white boxes. And I put the order in with the tissue paper and seal it up and get this. It fits into the priority mail envelope. How tricky is that? So um, it ships and it's protected, so I would suggest doing it that way. And if the order is so big and so awesome, you can't fit it into one of those boxes, then you can ship it in a medium flat rate box. And that is awesome. Um, I hope this has helped you out um, with your shipping questions. And if you have any questions, please contact me or check out DebsJewelryShop.com. And we will see you later. Bye.